This is a J Mix exclusive. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got some breaking news for you. It seems that Yasmin Fula, who is Qaddafi's mother, has come out and responded to the Outlaws Vlad TV interview where they discuss Qaddafi's murder. And she put this out about 25 minutes ago, so I want to go ahead and read it to you and let you know what she has to say. Yasmin Fula's official response to the Outlaws Vlad TV interview discussing Gaddafi's murder. Murder of Crows. Message to the Crows, formerly known as the Outlaws. When crows descend upon a carcass or attack the weak or injured of their flock, it's called murder of the crows. In a pitiful attempt to stay relevant, these three crows are doing just that upon the carcass of my deceased son, Yafu Qaddafi Fula and Tupac Amaru Shakur. So I've officially renamed the remaining outlaws to the Crows. At no time did any of them reach out to me and say, we are discussing Qaddafi in an interview and want you to know that. At no time has Muta reached out to me to offer anything regarding pain and suffering of my family, any admission of responsibility of his cousin, given the fact that Yafu is responsible for him having any ounce of credibility. Instead, this continued exploitation and capitalization of his murder, this despite the fact that I and my son lifted him up from his circumstances. I responded to his hundred phone calls begging me to be a part of Tupac's group and made sure that Tupac met him. I did this. Not Yafu. Me. Despite the fact that Muta has admitted on numerous occasions this was murder, he continues to capitalize upon the notoriety that brings accreditation to his Arab handlers and media attention by America's slanderous and corrupt social media. Please see attached Muta's emotionally detached admission delivered at a place and time unknown. The same goes for Noble, who knew Tupac for only two months, if that much, who thinks he is the spokesperson, the keeper of the flame, of the revolutionary Tupac Amaru Shakur and his beloved brother Yafu. Ad nauseum he wears a shirt of the revolutionary Che Guevara while bamboozling the fans into thinking he is appointed as representative of our revolutionary legacy. Not one of these crows dares to acknowledge the bond of love and devotion between Tupac and Yafu, but instead go on social media discussing Gaddafi's death like they are reading from a script promoting their own irrelevance and disastrous music. They are the whores of Hollywood who have made careers deceiving the fans as to their merit and commitment to the principles my sons died for. They creep around in desperation trying to stay relevant, commenting on subject matter they have absconded from addressing 20 years ago and now dare to revisit at great harm to myself and my family. I have asked them repeatedly not to speak my son's name. Instead, they dare to do an interview with a family member whose cousin murdered Yafu. Number one, my son was murdered by Roddy Beal, Mutah's cousin. Make no mistake, it was murder. Mutah's family threatened all the witnesses and folks willing to come forward to testify that Roddy had threatened Yafu. Roddy even called the house where Yaki was and told the people he was coming, but don't tell Yafu. He and his accomplice, Kadir Way, pled guilty to manslaughter and received light sentences because the prosecutors had no witnesses. My son was buried under a shroud of lies which Muta and his family perpetuated. 
He fooled the world by claiming that his cousin made a mistake, despite privately admitting he was a notorious pillhead, pulling guns on people and unstable. He chose to support his cousin listening only to his version of what happened. He made his choice. You can't have it both ways. Either you stand for the truth or you stand for the lie. You supported a murderer and now dare try to encourage interviewing your cousin. Why? To advance your ratings? Why not make him an outlaw or murder of Crow member? That'd be quite fitting. To stay relevant with your Arab handlers? It required some measure of coverage to investigate and not just rely on his cousin. We investigated. We know what happened. Muta participated in the cover-up, left the group, went to Saudi Arabia, leaving all to deal with the fallout of death and pain. Now he comes back, an international hero, claiming rights of respect he does not deserve. I never blamed him for my son's killing. My son loved Muta. I blame him for participating in a cover-up which resulted in the lies today. Muta knows it was murder and has even stated so in numerous insulting speeches like his life with Tupac. See attached. Murder is not the same as accident. You cannot have it both ways. As far as the outlaws or crows, go get a real job you bottom feeders and stop pimping my son and pimping Tupac. You both are irrelevant, your music's a disaster and a disgrace. Noble would have never been here but for the arrest of Fatal at the House of Blues in 1996. Apparently he filled in. You are not even a rapper, you fell into this role by default because your rap skills are a joke. I never understood why the estate didn't have you go take a seat. Guess they were preoccupied in silencing the more credible of this legacy whose stories were not up for sale. Me. Your skills are mediocre and when I hear you rap, I feel like my nails are scraping against a chalkboard. Had Tupac lived, I am sure, based on his comments to me, you would have been eased out. It is as if in this interview you cannot say my name. Stop saying Qaddafi's mom. I am the true keeper of the flame of both Qaddafi and Tupac. Say my name. Yasmin. Edie. Pretty surprised, but not surprised at you. Moo didn't do it. When was that ever an issue? The issue was honor, principle, integrity, and standing up for what really happened. You showed 20 years ago you lacked the balls to ask relevant questions regarding Gaddafi's murder, and today you continue to ride the Tupac gravy train, trying to stay relevant, sell records. We know you're a broke ass. Get a damn job. Stop throwing up signs. You're too old. Tupac was recruiting all of you for the work to build a movement for justice and truth. To strike a blow against mass incarceration, unemployment, misogyny, and build constructs in the community for the empowerment of black people. He chose international monikers for all because he was a global visionary connected to the world. Do you know what's going on in Uganda? After all, you were named after Idi Amin because you were overweight and obviously adhere to the same corrupt behavior. I guess Tupac saw more than I, even though I helped pick out the names. Shaking my head. This wasn't about your personal paychecks, which is what you turned this into. A damn paycheck. All of you psychopaths feed on his corpse. Tupac was a revolutionary whose greatest flaw was associating with such losers as you and the other no names, too many to mention, who ride the Tupac gravy train daily. Why continue to claim relevance by discussing my son? Why couldn't any of you say, wow, we don't need to broach this subject out of respect for Yasmin? You couldn't even say my name until the end. I am Qaddafi's mom. 
Huh. The slap in the face and the debacle of not being allowed to perform at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is indicative of your irrelevance. You and Noble should have sat down long time ago, but now you bring shame to our families, and not just mine. None of you should have been on the stage. Not T.I., not Snoop, not Mo Preen. You know who should have accepted the award? Joanne Baez, who was already being inducted. Why? Because she is more than any of you sleazy sloths stood for. The same principles Tupac was taught. Anti-imperialism, anti-capitalism, loyalty, courage, and the integrity and black people's independence. We, woman, taught him, and he loved women. This is the subject of my projects, the circle of women who nurtured and raised Tupac and taught him to love and respect. As far as Muta, go back to your handlers in Saudi Arabia or Dubai or wherever your Arabized brand of Islam came from. How dare you come to America preaching anything as you live under the protectorate of an Arab empire that enslaves and murders Africans daily, the Sudan, etc., where women are treated as animals, Saudi Arabia, where Africans are subjugated. I am a revolutionary warrior woman. My son was the descendant of a long line of revolutionaries that fought and died for the liberation of black people. We know our history. You are a stain. The antithesis of what my son lived and died for. You have no right to come and criticize anyone. Not the film, not the producers, not anyone. Until the self accuses the self. Your fortune or perceived fortune is off the blood of my sons. Both Tupac and Yafu. Every blessing you enjoy would not be but for the life of my son. Instead of honoring Yafu, you bring shame and deceit to our homes, forcing me and my family to bury my son yet again under this shroud of lies and dishonor. You dare to state that your cousin wouldn't lie. A predator known for shooting and robbing people wouldn't lie? Why not make him an outlaw, or better yet, murderer of crows? He'd fit right in. Your pitiful attempt at staying relevant will be aggressively met by me and anyone who believes you push a religious agenda. Islam is a religion of honor and integrity. You have violated many tenets of Islam with your fraud and lies. I remain as I always have been, the speaker of truth. I did not need to travel from the shores of the oppressors of Africans to understand my duty as a black being. Speak about the genocide committed against Africans daily. About the Arab enslavement of Africans that, judging by your crude comments and fraudulent tour, you continue to seek aggrandizement. Do not come to me with a subservient, Arabized version of Islam. Come to me with humility and sorrow at the pain you have caused my family. Until then, you are a fraud, betrayer, and liar. Islam teaches when a life is taken, much is to be done to make amends. What amends have you made to me, other than to continue to attempt to capitalize off my son's corpse? Blood in my eye. Your social media tour with the irrelevant crows is an indication of your fraud. As fans across the globe are enticed into a perverse version of the outlaw meaning. The real intent of the group died with the murder of its founding member, Yafu Gaddafi Fula. Had Tupac predeceased his beloved brother, he would have disbanded these crows and replaced them, hopefully, with real soldiers. Anyone who sides with and aids the enemies of black people is a traitor. You have betrayed our people on so many levels. Your betrayal of my family is unforgivable. Perhaps in the eyes of your handlers, you're doing your job, keeping an indigenous, deceived population mesmerized with lies. But in the eyes of me, my family, and black people, you are a traitor. And by the way, in your speaking engagement of unknown date and origin, where you nonchalantly describe Yafu's murder stating, a couple of weeks later, the brother that introduced me to Tupac, his half-brother got murdered by my cousin. 
let me know if you need me to post the video to jolt your memory. Webster's definition of murder. Unlawful, malicious, premeditated killing of a person. Webster's definition of accident. An unexpected or unintended happening. You can't have it both ways. Was it an accident or was it murder? By your own admission, you knew. I would like to thank Yasmin Fula for allowing me to post this. And I would like to say rest in peace to Tupac Amaru Shakur and Yafu Fula, otherwise known as Qaddafi. Until the next upload, one love everybody. Yeah.